Alright, this whole location doesn't appear to match this whole location, so double checking the drawing. It's it is 7.5. I just don't know how to do math because half of seven is three and a half, and I gotta add another quarter, so it should be three and three quarters. And I think I went three and a quarter. So it's not a big deal. The beauty of the CAD software is you can double click on anything to modify it. I'll change it three and a quarter to three and three quarters by double clicking on it and changing the value in the offset tab pop-up window. Select OK. Now it's in the correct location. All right, but that's not the heart and soul of what I'm trying to teach you. I want to teach you how to do circular patterns. So you want to highlight the hole in the tree. Under Transform, there are, there's a feature called Circular Pattern. It's right underneath Rectangular Pattern. So you select Circular Pattern. And what I like about this is you, know, you make sure you have your hole already picked. So it's got that highlighted by default. The reference element, what you want to do is pick anything circular and it will find the center axis of that and duplicate that axis. If you remember what I did last, I did a 45 degree angle. And again, I can keep going up. How many do I create? Look where I'm at. I'm at nine. Let me back it down to eight. Hmm, doesn't look like it's changed anything. Back it down to seven. Now it looks like it changed something. Okay. So sometimes it's adding seven, sometimes it's a total of seven. So you got to watch for Katia and its inconsistencies on how it works. Sometimes when you're doing instances on some features, it's including the one you have. On other features, it's adding to the one you have. So on another feature, I would use seven to get a total of eight. On this one, I use eight to get a total of eight. Preview that, select OK. And that is how you create your circular pattern. OK, you try the next one. That is on a diameter of three inches and 0.38. Reference the back of the book. What decimal point does uh, what fraction does 0.38 represent? We'll see if you can figure that out. There's the back of the book. There's a fraction to decimal conversion. You can also Google that.